Well, hello everybody. This is meteorologist Andrew Pinero with this review of the 2020 Tesla Model 3. So in this video, this is going to be a one year review of the Tesla Model 3. And we're gonna talk everything that you could possibly want to know. We're gonna talk all about that, the good, the bad, and the ugly with the Tesla Model 3 and just an electric vehicle in general. So if you wanna find out more about that, feel free to keep watching the rest of this video. All right, let's take a look inside the car and a little bit about the driving. So very minimal, I love this. This is very futuristic, which is also why I, try, I chose this over some of the other uh, electric cars out there. Now let's talk a little bit about the driving experience. Number one, if you listen, it's silent, absolutely silent. So that's what we're gonna experience now to start all I'm going to do is just put my foot on the brake that engages or it turns on the drive system, loads my user profile, and I'm ready to go. Press the stock for drive. It disengages the park brake. And away we go. It's just so, it's, just, uh, it's like serenity driving this. It's so peaceful and quiet. So here's an acceleration we're going to feel right now. Woo! <laughs> I got up to 50 with <laughs> that is just absolutely amazing to feel the sound of that electric and just the the feel of that instant torque as soon as you hit the the pedal I'm gonna say the gas pedal or the accelerator that feel is just so amazing and it throws you back in the seat, just the sheer acceleration with it. Now, one of the other things I was mentioning just before was the one pedal driving. So right now, as I'm slowing down, I'm just easing off the accelerator. I'm not moving my foot off the accelerator. So if right now I just take my foot off completely, I actually come to a stop. Just That's because what's happening with the electric motors is it's using the motor in reverse essentially. It's taking the momentum of the car, reverse driving or reversing the flow of the electric motor to recharge the battery, regenerative braking. So when you're going downhill, for instance, or slowing down, you are you reusing that energy of the car to slow down to recharge the battery. I thought that was fascinating with electric cars and that regen braking. So it does take a little while to get used to that one pedal driving. Because you really have to, it's a, just like with um, manual, like with the WRX, you have to really get used to feathering that throttle. You just push a little bit to go, you let off a little bit to slow down. All right, so I have parked now, and to give my overall experience with driving, even over a year later now, it is fantastic. This is quite literally the best driving experience I have ever had in a car, hands down. The WRX was fun. I love banging through the six-speed uh, manual transmission. Even before that, I had a Subaru Legacy. It has a very great and smooth car. And then my very first car was a 1996 Jeep Cherokee. And that was a little rough around the edges. But this, it is, the construction of the car makes it so smooth. And the weight of the car, it just feels like it's gliding down the road. That in combination with the electric part of it makes it feel so silky smooth. Besides the fact that there's no engine or transmission sounds, 
when you start going, it just very gently starts going. It could be as aggressive. You slam the, the go pedal and you will take off. Or you can very gently just start going. You can choose how you want the car to react and it will be as smooth as you want or as fast as you want. And that's what's really cool with the electric cars now. They give you that option. And to say that electric cars are soulless, I would say anybody that says that does not know what they're talking about. So come at me with that. Electric cars are equally as soulful as regular cars. It's just that they are easier to maintain, as I've talked about previously in the maintenance section there. All right, so that wraps up the driving experience. I give this driving experience a 10 out of 10. So let's move on to the next section. All right, so let's talk a little bit about autopilot, full self-driving, all that stuff now. So I am driving on the throughway right now, and I am in what's called Navigate on Autopilot which is part of the full self-driving package. So now full self-driving is in beta right now. So that's their legal loophole that they're using Tesla to get around the fact that it's not full self-driving because you're supposed to keep your hands ready, your feet ready to take over. So the full self-driving package that you can buy includes Summon, which I'll show you a, a clip about summon. You ready? This is Andrew's car coming to him. I'm ready. Oh my gosh, the lights came on. Here And something's really cool, especially when I'm sharing a spot with the motorcycle so then I can back out the car without being in the car. And then I can move the car back into the spot without being in the spot. So it's really neat to be able to do that. But uh, full self-driving, the, the highlight of that is this navigate on all pilot and navigate on city streets. So like right now, I'm gonna flip over to the phone here and I put in the destination I have it set to a max speed it's telling me the next point that of the navigation when I'm going to arrive how long how many miles and when it's in blue like this that means so if I try and turn the wheel it's actually not there's a, a stiff amount of pressure on here because that lets, that's letting me know that the car is in control if I ever needed to, I can pull this really hard, the steering wheel, and that will disengage the navigate on autopilot. So I can regain control that way. I can also just step on the brake pedal that will disengage the navigate on autopilot or the shifter here. If I actually double tap this down twice, that will engage navigate on autopilot. I pull this up, that will disengage the whole system. So while this is going, it's a very relaxing kind of feel because you don't have to actively use your feet. You just have them ready. You don't have to actively use your hands here. You just have to have them ready. And it just feels smooth, especially with the way electric cars are. The also in here, just uh, see that truck that went by, but still catching it on here. And here comes a car and there's the car. So it's fully aware of all of the lanes on the highway here and the edges of the lanes and all the cars that it needs to worry about right now. So back on the main camera here, I can feel very comfortable on the highway. Now there is something that is in beta right now, which I have not done. And that is the um, navigate on city, uh, navigate on autopilot for uh, city streets. I have not done the city streets one just yet. 
I can request access to that beta if I want to because it's part of the package that came with the car but I have not just because I'm gonna let some other people do that for now all right so it looks like my exit is coming up here so I will end this part and then we'll discuss a little bit more discuss a little bit more it actually gave a little stop because it saw that car that car up ahead actually started to come over into my lane into me and it gave a little stop all right so i have parked the car now after my full self-drive well navigate on autopilot self-drive uh and let's talk a little bit about that a little wrap up and my final thoughts on there so from that weird thing with the bridge it reacted faster than me i was paying attention as much as i could but it saw this car potentially coming in before me because I only have eyes looking forward. I can't have eyes looking everywhere at once. No matter how many, how much people tell you to keep your eye, your head on a swivel and keep looking, you can't be looking forward and back at the exact same time. This can. This is surrounded by eight cameras. It can see forward, left, right, back at the exact same time, and its brain can process that. So speaking of that, I just want to say also, the, no matter who says it, reaction times, the Tesla will always have a faster reaction time than you. I don't care who you are, how good you are, you do not have the reaction time of this car, of any of the Teslas. You may have more experience but you don't have the reaction time. This is an electrical system. Electrons are always going to be faster than the neurons in your brain. So humans, no matter who you are, I don't care who you are, you are a human, you're going to have slower reaction time than this car. But the experience is the other key part. I equate the Teslas right now to a 16, 17, 18-year-old with a learner permit. The cars right now only have a learner permit. You are the fully licensed driver. The Tesla is the learner permit person learning to drive. That's what's really incredible, too, is it's learning all the time. And that's what Tesla is taking all of the data that it's gathering from the fleet to improve the full self-drive systems and the regular just standard auto um, auto steer and all that it's always learning and it's always improving so right now i would say the teslas have their learner permit great to be on the road and all that footage you see of all these crashes from the full self-driving they're not entirely truthful at the moment they're from years ago so a video from 2019 three years ago of a a full self-drive car crashing into an overturned tractor trailer that's been corrected that's fine now that's not gonna be a thing the cars are always learning they're not there yet because like i said they have their learner permit they're learning maybe a decade maybe 15 years from now we will have much more autonomy with cars if every car on the road was autonomous they can all talk to each other that would actually be really good That'd be much safer than a bunch of humans driving that don't talk to each other. And I don't know the intentions of the other driver. But if all the cars talk to each other and they're all autonomous, they can know what the other's going to do. So I think that's a safer thing. And this is a great start towards there. All right. So that's my final thoughts on full self-drive. <laughs>